with David Poray, the Director of Operations of the Artisan Hotel. Hi David, I thank you for your time. So let's talk a little bit about the intended purpose when this hotel was created. This hotel actually was purchased by my sister and brother-in-law in December of 2001. Uh, the intended purpose was to create a boutique atmosphere, a boutique hotel, something that Las Vegas hadn't seen uh, or hadn't had uh, up until then or now. Right. Uh, they do a lot of traveling and they prefer to stay in the smaller boutique properties as opposed to the larger big box chains. Mm -hmm. uh, and my sister has always been adept at design. We've always prodded her in doing something uh, you know, commercially in regards to design. Mm -hmm. uh, but she never really has, so this is really the not, I'm not going to say the first venture of hers to do something commercially, but uh, uh, obviously her, her touches are, are throughout. We're in the lounge right now, and this lounge was voted uh, the top new bar in the Las Vegas Lifestyle magazine. Uh, how did it earn that title? Well, we've got a great reputation with locals. As a matter of fact, we have a locals gathering right here right now celebrating our 40th birthday party. Yeah, very lively. But we also do real well with the local entertainment industry as well. You'll find that uh, late night you come in here, you'll find entertainers from the various shows that are performing on and around the Strip as well. Great. Olivia, this is one of very specialties, at least in my mind, the Black Orchid Martini. Wonderful. Oh, well, let's try Cheers. it. Cheers. I love drinking on the job. So David, we're in the restaurant right now. Uh, can you talk a little bit about the menu that's served here? Sure. Uh, the menu is uh, a Mediterranean theme, uh, which is served uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. A little bit about the decor? The decor probably uh, is one to remind one of the Las Vegas of the old days, mm -hmm. uh, kind of the Rat Pack days. Uh, you know, we keep it dimly lit in here. It's, it's a very Try and set a very romantic mood. I'd like to show you our private dining area. Okay. And we use this for uh, special guests, hotel dignitaries, celebrities that come and they'd like to have a, a private lunch or dinner. Uh, this room is, is reserved for Beautiful. And you can reserve for your birthdays or any special occasion? Absolutely. Um, and what I might allude to as well is that if you take a look at the pictures on the wall in this particular room, mm -hmm. in fact, in the entire restaurant area, it's all one artist. Uh, that artist's name is Jack Vetriano. He's a Scottish-born artist that uh, does some very, very sexy. Yeah, it's pictures. very erotic. Welcome to the Artisan Chapel. Let me show you around. I think the whole idea behind the chapel here, Olivia, was to give it a an older California-style mission feel. And uh, if you look around, I think you'll see the, the statues up above, mm -hmm. uh, the altar, and some genuine Catholic Church items, mm -hmm. as well as actually some pews, uh, which are actually pulled out of the church back from the uh, East Coast that we have. Oh, beautiful. So you get a lot of weddings here? We do. We have, uh, we have many weddings that are held here. Mm -hmm. uh, the one thing that we haven't done and that we've uh, not wanted to do yet is have an Elvis-themed wedding in, <laughs> in this particular chapel. Olivia, this is our pool area out here, and again, it's designed for guest comforts. Uh, we've got day beds for the guests to use. We've got some private cabanas that can be rented out. Mm -hmm. uh, we do full food and beverage service out here. And of course, the pool is heated for uh, once. That is great, especially on a night like this, yeah. you know? Would you like to take a dip? Um, maybe when the camera's off, because <laughs> I'll have to go naked, because I didn't bring my swimsuit. <laughs> Let me go ahead and show you some of the rooms here, Olivia. Wow, this is a beautiful hallway. Again, artwork displayed everywhere. Wonderful. In fact, I'll mention something to you, and you'll see this as we roam the hallways here. Every room is themed with a different artist, and you'll find at least four to six pictures from that artist displayed in the room. Uh, I can take you into the masterpiece suite right now if you'd like to see it. Yes, right, definitely. Welcome to the Michelangelo room. Wow. Our masterpiece suite. Wow, this is fabulous. So David, tell us some of the features that comes with the Master Suite. Well, with the Masterpiece Suite, as you can see here, we've got a leopard print pool table. Mm -hmm. uh, it 
comes with the, each room, uh, both the living area and the bedroom, have a plasma, 42 inch plasma TV, Bose system. Oh, let, yeah. Let me take you to the bedroom. Uh oh. oh <laughs> this is the bedroom area of the suite. Mm -hmm. So each room is themed with a different artist. Each room is themed with a different artist, and again, we display anywhere from four to six pictures from that artist in, mm -hmm. in each room. As a matter of fact, a funny story here, Olivia, is that we don't really pretend to be child-friendly. And what happens sometimes is that we have people that bring in their children and stay here, and they'll call the front desk after they check in, and they'll say, you know, how could you have put us in this room? It's, uh, it's You're displaying pornography. And we'll tell them, well, you know what? You're in the Michelangelo suite, and this is actually displayed in the Sistine Chapel. When traveling to Las Vegas, consider staying at the Artisan Hotel, one of Las Vegas' best-kept secrets, where chic meets boutique. For more information and to book your reservation, go to theartisanhotel.com. For Web 2.0 TV, I'm Olivia Z, signing off in Las Vegas style. Do it again. For Web 2.0 TV, I'm Olivia Z, signing off in Las Vegas style.